Right now in our facility, we're milking 170 cows. I uh, said so we've been in round net numbers for, uh, I'd say for the last 20 years uh, in that range. Uh, family, family farm. Uh, my grandpa dairied here uh, back in the 50s. My dad moved on here on this site uh, in 65. Uh, Switched over to robots as a need uh, of time off. <laughs> You know, time uh, to be able to, uh, you know, have somebody, we struggled with hired help, uh, uh, you know, yeah. so we just felt the need to have uh, uh, more control over uh, when, uh, managing the way we did things and uh, uh, for our size operation, you know, so that was, well, was our biggest push uh, for the robotics and also uh, the need to uh, be able to uh, travel away from the farm, you know, to have a way to monitor the cattle when we left the farm. Yeah, that, that's a huge part of the system. I mean, you, I can look on the screen and I can uh, uh, monitor these cows and know exactly which cows are in heat, which cows are sick, uh, which cows haven't milked, uh, which cows might have mastitis. You know, I, in, in 10 minutes, I told a farmer the other day, uh, I, in 10 minutes I can know more about these cows than if I had milked all my cows and been in this barn for 24 hours. Uh, because trying to remember that many cows and what this cow gave last night or what she gave yesterday and how much she gave out of the, this quarter and how much she gave the, the day before and how active she was, uh, you know, you, you can't remember all that stuff where the computer does and it tracks it and it tracks her, her average milking and, and, and it tracks her average activity and, uh, and, and it knows when it's above or below that and it, and it tells you those and it tells you just the cows you need to check instead of have to look at the screen and check all 50, 150 cows um, you know so I know which cows actually to focus on it tells me if they're in the holding area or, or if I have to catch them so that is all available just at a click you know I can go over and check my uh, this screen and pull up activity for the cattle and the cows that would might possibly be in heat for today and it tells me the days that cow is in, in milk, you know, if she has been bred, the last time she was bred, days since last insemination, you know, how high her activity is, puts them in order the highest activity cow to lowest. You know, I can click onto that cow, and it'll show me her activity, you know. This one here, you know, this is the activity of that cow generally, and this is their activity yesterday, how it spiked up and then it flags that with a green or yellow or red arrow. And we know exactly which cow, we know how active she was, we know when she was active, it tells me the day down here and actually can pull up the time of day if I move my thing to it, it'll actually bring up, you know, so, you know, without, you know, uh, without staring over the fence and then, and trying to watch these cows, you know, I can, I can stare at this green and I can stare at this screen in the barn. I can do this in the house. I can do this when I'm on vacation. And I can still check all this information and know exactly what I need to know about this cow without even being in, uh, being in the barn, you know. So I, I mean, this event, I can take this on my uh, iPad and, and pull it up in the uh, tractor in the field. I can uh, bring up the bring it up on my smartphone if I if I can see it without my glasses you know and uh, and and you know so it's this uh, information is, is uh, and also uh, if the uh, if there is a, uh, a problem with the robot if, uh, if there's a malfunction or if a cow has a problem uh, the, 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 the computer will call me it will say uh, cow 74 um, low yield uh, it'll, it'll notify me call my cell or if, uh, if um, uh, one of the robots uh, has a problem uh, if, if inflation gets kicked off or if a uh, sensor isn't working right and they'll call me up and say hey this uh, this uh, this machine is not working right you know so I can either uh, you know come into the barn and check it or call my service man or or if I'm away on vacation I can call uh, whoever I need to to come to the farm if nobody's around and say hey we have a problem in the barn so uh, you know, 10 minutes from a breakdown, I'm, I'm notified. You know, so these, these things are huge uh, to, uh, to be able to uh, be off site and still monitor what's going on.
Uh, the VMS is, you know, for for the small dairymen. I mean, for uh, the one unit can handle uh, uh, 50 to 75, 70 cows. You know, in that range there. I mean, it. Uh, and I think it is for the, you know, when the dairyman, for the dairyman that uh, cannot afford to have multiple employees, uh, you know, uh, where you can have a, a herdsman or, or another person that can be uh, uh, on staff to, to do what you do on a daily basis, you know, manage the feed of the cows, the feeding the, uh, you know, the monitor the cow's health, uh, treat cows you know, uh, make those decisions, you know, uh, when you are relying on uh, somebody basically just to do the milking and do the chores and feed the calves, you know, this way you you can find people to fill those positions, but I said you can still monitor uh, that cow's needs and not be on the farm. I said, you, but the activity for me is huge because I can monitor uh, the activity of, them, of the animals and if I have a sick one, I can call home and I know the cow and I know her lactation and, and her possible problems and, I, and I tell the, 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 the person behind it to treat her and what to treat her with and then in, a, in an hour, a couple hours later, 12 hours later or the next morning I can monitor that same cow's activity and her production and see if there is a response. You know, in this way I, and I can tell if the people that I left behind have, have uh, completed the tax that I have told them to, you know, and uh, have they milked that cow? Because I can tell exactly when that cow was milked, so I don't know. I know that they've done it. They have done that procedure, and most of the time with the activity, if if, if the uh, treatment is working, her activity will improve, and if not, then we'll call the veterinarian and have him uh, assess the cow and then administer whatever. Uh, uh, drugs or we need and then and the next day I can monitor her again and I can see the response and if, if the cow improves and if she doesn't but if I was away from the farm without this system uh, I would not know this until the day I return and four or five days for that cow be life or death you know or, or call situation for that cow or here we can uh, we can still uh, monitor those cows and still maintain uh, uh, the natural protocol of the barn without me being physically in the barn. If anybody is uh, thinking about the system, it's so important to tour and tour multiple times and talk to uh, as many farmers that you can and see their experiences and uh, and it's and like it's like um, and like I said it's like any piece of equipment it's constantly updating and since the technology is fairly new uh, insulation and the way of insulation is constantly changing so comfortable because uh, this insulation is uh, is based on cow comfort and cow flow uh, the cow has to want to do this uh, and the cow is like us on a hot sunny day if she has to walk out in the sun and to to get to the VMS to milk uh, she's probably not going to do it you know, if she if if she's laying in the shade underneath the fan, what would be her incentive to walk over and stand in the hot barn to get milked? You know, there has to, you know she you want she has to do this on her own, and there has to be a reason to want her to do that. So the, the area has to be shaded in the same way in the winter time. I mean, if uh, if it is a cold, windy, drafty location, you know the cow will will not visit the the milker. So you know, uh, barn design and cow comfort, and also a, a healthy cow. And a comfortable cow is an active cow. You know, if, if I said if in uh, the VMS is a 24-hour milking system, you know, so that's what forced me. You know, and I enjoy cattle and enjoy what I do. And in order to be able to do this for the next 15 years, you know, I had to figure out a way that I could still be able to do it uh, successfully and, and, and be able to manage it. You know. And, and be profitable at it. Uh, I think it is. A, I think it is a, a, something that will be uh, very beneficial for the smaller dairymen to be able to, to stay in the industry and, and and be able to be a dairyman and still maintain a quality of life. You know, uh, and, and still be a dairyman. Uh, if they would take my uh, robots away, I would quit milking the same day. 
I could not go back to, uh, and the wife said that too, we, we, we would not be able to go back to the style of milking in the parlor.